welcome back. This is the part two. Um, um, okay. Thank you. This is the part two. It's 3.03 a.m. in my place. I welcome you. How are you doing? Yes, we just want us to learn from this. Ladies, I've always been saying it. Don't take anything on face value. I thank God many people are coming out now. Experience is a great teacher. Unfortunately, for those that experienced it, experience is a monster. Because the teacher experience will not give you lesson before test. A good teacher will give the student lesson before giving them examination. But experience will just come with examination, without test. And those who have experience, I encourage you, come out to give people tests so that they will not fail when the same thing presents itself to them. Okay, let's go ahead and go for the part two. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but, but, but I mean, but I mean, yeah. When when you're pushed against the wall, you you're gonna try to get help from anywhere. Yeah. 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 And are they saying the same thing that the pastors are saying as well? So, um, because I was told, like you know this is it's black magic it's witchcraft mm. it's it's all of that like traditional healers know how to to heal it you moves. and mm. cleanse you and remove it and stuff like that and i was like okay yeah like take me i, I need mm. i need mm. to get help so we i went to a, a traditional healer she she told me things which some things like you know mm. what were, were true and right it made sense um and she told she me told more about, about how, how cults, cults work, work and things like that yeah. she told me like what he was doing and then, and then that's, that's when she told me she was like this is a bad guy you know he used you he, he's using many other people <laughs> and all of that and yeah she yeah, helped cleanse me but mm. also i was told i had a mermaid spirit and <laughs> and like you know mom, like i was told that mermaids are a good thing and all of, all that, of that and I should like go, go to, to the river and, and acknowledge, acknowledge them, them and, and ask them to cleanse me and, and stuff, stuff like that, that which, which I, I did, did. and not, not knowing, knowing you know, you know now, now I know I that mom it's not, not a good thing, thing, thing at all yeah. and it's like you know I was put into a hole and I didn't know how to get out of it and it's like I dug myself even deeper thinking that I'm doing the right thing thinking that I'm cleansing thinking that this what I'm doing it's helping, helping me because mm. somebody, somebody like how they say knowledge is power mm. like when you don't have any knowledge of mm. witchcraft when you don't have any knowledge of mermaids when you don't have any knowledge of anything you're gonna believe something that someone tells you it's true. so it's i was true. like okay the uh, you know that is why i always say that you cannot use negative to fight negative Yes, when people are desperate, they can go very low and very, you know, deep. I remember I told you all, I too, I went to Sangoma after I left synagogue looking for solution. But you cannot use negative to fight negative. No, it's a good thing, like, go and do this ritual mm. obviously now looking back it's like i was doing a ritual but in the time it's like i was trying to get out i was just there like cleanse me help me like help me. so basically i did rituals to mermaids 
and mm-hmm. didn't know that I was like marrying a mermaid. So, you know, I don't know if you know how mermaids work, but like go to mermaids, worship them. They will give you what you want and what you ask for, but mm-hmm. there's that fine print that they don't tell you. I didn't know I was getting married to a mermaid. I, I wasn't told like, like the, the mermaid can give you whatever riches you want. I just was told they can cleanse you, mm. ask them to cleanse you, ask them to open your doors that have been shut, ask them for your blessings back that were taken away from you. And that's what I did. Mm. But like other people who go to mermaids and they want riches, they want things, you'll get that. Mm. Not, I know, I've seen it with my own eyes that you will get that, but the demands get more. Mm. And then it, it, like if you don't carry on worshiping mermaids, if you don't carry on on your part, mm. they can turn on you very bad. Like very you, bad. You know what's crazy? Um, if you watched the interview with him, Am I the only one who's getting the feeling that this mermaid looked like her? Hey team, did she not like he described somebody who looked like you, the mermaid? Really? So I mean, did you know anyone he cheated on you? Not no, but did you know how they looked? Was there a certain type? There were a few names that he mentioned to me that he had dated before and stuff. Like I won't mention the names, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I, I mean, famous. Yeah, like the thing is, mermaids are like mermaids exist, and the thing is, like mermaids, they actually don't like if you actually see them. Like I was scared when I went to the river; I didn't see them, but I didn't know what to expect. Mm. But in actual, real, true life, a yeah. mermaid is not a, a pretty thing. I I've watched mermaids. The body found actually uh, on, on Discovery. I I've 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 seen mermaids, but and the they're not is, pretty. They're not. I've like, seen in them. True, yeah. And like if well, you those look at it, yeah. like truly it's, it's not pretty they're yeah. actually very ugly but why people say that they is that they because they change they change okay, the they, form. they 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 blind you so that you see a pretty figure but they're not that mm-hmm. in reality mm-hmm. so mermaids are lucky creature, creatures mm-hmm. they can give you all that they can give you whatever you want but like no <sighs> one tells you that they jealous creatures they possess of they demanding the higher you go the higher they they go and the higher the more they want from you mm. so i experience all of that so you know i'm not even yet to like a- attack jay or play a victim mm, like it's mm. been three almost four years now mm. and i'm just here because i've watched all the interviews mm. i've learned about it so much in a, in a good way that happened to me because now it's it's opened my eyes and girl and opened my mind to so much that goes on in the world mm. and i went full force like i researched about witchcraft mermaids everything mm. and apart from like what <coughs> i actually did myself because mm. i would be a hypocrite if i was like oh i didn't do rituals no i did um. rituals with mermaids not knowing what i was doing but i did those rituals mm. i experienced what mermaids can also do to your life as well so mm. it's like jay was just the beginning and then it kept getting worse and mm. worse it's almost as if it rubs up off you hey, like on you and then you start because i was going to say i don't think you should blame yourself i think um my mom my mom is just saying she says you know when when you when you're looking for life you eat shit you know <laughs> you know you That's just you just you, you know and 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 this comes from the fact that my mom is um she's um somebody who's gone through her own trials in terms of her health, you know? So if they're going to tell you, I mean, to go to a homeo, what are those guys? Um, <laughs> and you can, like, meditate the pain away. Yeah. You're going to try and do you that. So do I it. don't think you should you, you should completely <laughs> feel bad for that. You were just trying to look for life after a very, very bad, you know, hectic, toxic situation. And and speaking of toxic, were there times when he would fight with you out of nowhere, not want to see you um just become difficult for no reason and then all of a sudden out of the blaze I come? Yeah, like I said, like af- afterwards like me changed a lot to me. It wasn't mm. sweet and loving anymore and it wasn't all of that. Like he, he his attitude also changed a lot towards me and 
um, to be honest, because mm. I I watched the interview that you did with him. I watched all his other interviews. Because mm. like after he c- came out and mm. e- exposed himself and other people, it's like I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew. I know. Yeah, yeah. I knew like I was dealing with something really yeah, bad. Yeah, like yeah. so, I was like watching all of it. But what I didn't appreciate was like if somebody is truly saying that they're a changed person they 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 put that behind them i didn't like the narrative that he wasn't using women in his rituals mm. because i actually did ask him that in like 2020 when he called me and stuff i was like you know jay i forgive you because he apologized mm, I was, mm, mm. and i was like you know you didn't deserve what i did do. and i was like I forgive you. I want to forgive you. But I was like, be honest with me. Like, tell me what exactly you did because I know what you did. Because at that time, I had already like gone, gone out and <laughs> consulted with pastors. Yeah. And mm. So I was like, I know what you did. I didn't tell him that I did all that. But I was like, I know what you did. Just tell me what you did. Mm. And he couldn't admit it. He was like, I never did anything to you intentionally. I think what affected Ooh. you was just, you know, the stuff I was delving in was so evil and maybe just off on you but like i'm thinking if it wasn't intentionally why did you make me bleed so that you could wipe me and take my blood to a river or to your other rituals Mm. how is that not intentionally Mm. if it wasn't intentionally like why didn't he call me and be like those times you were dreaming of snakes i know exactly what was going Mm. on i can help you like this i can do this he never ever admitted to me and now he's like putting it out there in the public that I've never used women for rituals mm. and I said to him have you never used women for luck have you never like taken he was he was like no I've never done that and then he told me like which other pastors out there do it <laughs> he was quick to like point Protect. fingers like no he does it he does it Defect. he's like I've never done that and it's like if you truly mean that you're sorry, mm. help all the women that he claims that he slept with over a thousand women. What happened to all those other women? How were their lives affected? How mm. were their lives destroyed? Are there other women out there who maybe weren't strong enough and did kill themselves as I was meant to kill myself or was going to kill myself? You know, it mm. makes me think like, where are all these thousands of thousand women out there, you know? If you're really sorry, why aren't you going to them and apologizing and saying like, women, I'm sorry. I did this. I did this. I'm sorry. True, Forgive yeah. me. Let me help you mm. or something like that. Let me like point you to the person who can help you. Exactly. Yeah. But he's not doing that. He's so like, I didn't do anything. To and you him. know, he, I mean, I mean, <clears throat> give us, I mean, you have given us examples, just feeling suicidal and, and. I mean, were there other supernatural things that were happening? You know, because I've heard of people, you know, like car accidents, losing job opportunities, miscarriages. You know, he spoke about a miscarriage with, with somebody, actually. The minute this Mami Wata sees that you're in love mm. with a woman of the flesh, gets very jealous. And then did mm. you feel any spiritual attacks that became physical, like a physical manifestation? Well, in terms of, like, losing opportunities, like I said, like, mm. that. Um, investment bill yes. just went out the way. Um, so many things, like usually that in life, you know, not just as like so blessed and whatever I touched turned to gold. Mm. But you know, things used to be so much easier in life, and then afterwards, like I lost a lot. Like in terms of opportunity-wise, things just never ever went through. They just so many things. It like it keeps getting there, and then it falls through. And apart from, I can't put it all on Jay, maybe some of it is also the mermaids. Because mm. I didn't, I went to a mermaid once. I didn't do any follow up. So mm. I didn't even know I was supposed to keep going and worshiping them, <laughs> stuff like that. So they also turn things. So between Jay, between the mermaids, between all of that, it's just, just like a lot. so many <clears throat> things like fell through and didn't work out. Mm. And how's your family taking all that? Because <coughs> I'm sure they're seeing it in the media. So some of them knew you were dating him my mom knew my mom met him um like met him on a video call mm. she knew at the time um i didn't tell my family for a long time 
I think I only told my mom what really happened this year, a few months ago. Wait. I didn't tell them what I went through, that I was used for rituals and stuff. Mm. I knew it would really hurt them mm. and all of that. So I didn't, I didn't even put it out there like this since the first time. Tell only like the, the close few people around me, I like told them. Yeah. Did, when else did you speak to? To Jay. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Was it one of those? This will be the last time you ever. <laughs> Which which chat was that one? <laughs> which chat was that one? This will be the last time you ever do that to anybody. Uh, Jay doesn't actually know that I'm doing this. I don't even think he suspects that I ever would. Now he would. <laughs> now he does. And I've been scared of Jay for a long time. Like Why? I've been traumatized. What I went through, and it's sad because it changed me as a person. Mm. Like it really. It like made me so scared of people. Mm. It's like you don't even know who to trust anymore. You don't know what people are doing out there. Mm. I don't like before I was always a shy reserved person, but mm. now it's like I don't let people close to me at all. Mm. I can imagine. And it's not only people who can sleep with you who yeah. are doing things to you. I can just put something in my hand, touch G D or do this or Finished. do that and mm. boom. It's true. It's true. And it doesn't even... mean they have to use your blood or they have to touch you yeah yeah and i mean even in the in in <clears throat> in various industries you know I've, I've heard of different people and 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 different um situ- let's go back to what 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 was your phone call about <laughs> oh jay i haven't forgotten <laughs> what did you guys speak about so i haven't spoken to jay since like last year when i was in a relationship mm. that was like he called me and then you know, I was angry for at Jay for a while. Yeah. I saw him as the devil. Of course. Like I was I was angry with him. So I always used to keep blocking him and then another number used to call me. So the last time I spoke to him was um last year and I was in a relationship. So I was like he called me, I answered and then I found out who it was, then I was like, you know, <laughs> what do you want? He was like, Are you okay? And then I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like with my boyfriend <laughs> right yeah, now. Of course. He's like, okay, he's tell him to treat you well. You're such a good woman. I was like, I know we're going to get married. And then he was like, <laughs> he said to me, which, which like really triggered me. And yeah. I got so angry because he was like, call me when you guys break up. So I was like, what does that mean? What are you going to do? What are you? I was like, what does that mean? Yeah, that my relationship didn't last too long after that. So, I told me it was probably like something else. <laughs> I, I no hope one man should have all that power. <laughs> I hope it wasn't him. But yeah. Like, um, and then a few days ago, like I unblocked him and I called him. Yeah. And I had a conversation with him. Um. And I think it helped give me closure because mm. I knew I didn't deserve what happened to mm. me. Mm. But I was like, why did you do that? And, yeah. and, and still, he, he didn't admit that, like, I used you intentionally. And I was like, if I bled and stuff, mm. how is that not intentional? Just yeah. like, I think true forgiveness, you should just own up to it to everyone, all the women, mm. you know, and let people truly forgive you but another thing that sucks is that in terms of the law or anything Mm. there's nothing that states like if someone spiritually uses you or stuff like that you can go and and do something or 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 they Mm. will be reprimanded and it's just like if i did kill myself that time Mm. it would have been written off as an accident Mm. if it was in the car or if it was me cutting myself it's like suicide suicide But people don't really know. And how many other people out there who die in accidents and weird ways. And it's just written off as depression. It's just written off as this. It's just written off as something else. And you sleeping so, with the wrong person. So why is the law not protecting people to say if you... Because that's like murder. Mm. Because if you can manipulate somebody to go and kill themselves, that's like murder. Mm. And so why isn't it in the law to be like, if, if you know and have even evidence whatever that somebody did something to you 
on that level and spiritually used you in rituals why can't they get like locked up i'm not question. saying that no no good question because i mean in nigeria because i mean in nigeria there is a, a a fraternity that deals with with that kind of thing there's a there's a uh, department yeah that, dedi- that has dedicated itself to doing just that and i think it's just um within the south african context it's like i believe i don't believe mm-hmm. you know i think i think that's where we still are and um but yeah, it's, it's getting so say. much worse there's yeah. so many men out there doing it to women there's also so women out Listen, there doing traditional it to healers men. coming out saying yo if you want to do this to someone i can do this that's the level it's that's, on now. that's even how it is now people are even selling it as just like love potions oh if you want your man to give you money <laughs> do this if you want this but no they it's not just a, a love that's you're pissing that's, up somebody's that's, life that's yeah. spiritual that's witchcraft mm, you know mm. it's manipulation mm, how can mm. you just like put stuff on you and sleep with a man so he can give you money and i to an extent like i know the world you know mm. food prices are going up it's mm. crazy to to live in this time where you don't have a job or mm. you have a job and it's not paying you so, so people are turning to things mm. to get that money yeah. without realizing I'm actually like I'm actually in agreement to a spiritual world. That's true. There's spirits and demons that are actually attached to this because mm, mm, it's mm. not just as a simple as a little love potion. Yeah, yeah. Cuz just like mermaids spiritual things happen the same way. It gives but it also takes, takes. and that's what people are not realizing what they actually put in themselves into mm-hmm. and that's is actually really scary so for anyone who's who wants to know like somebody might say ah she's lying whatever do you have proof of the fact that you guys dated or have spoken or is that something you have just so people know <laughs> you know in case they decide one day you know you know how people are yeah oh you know she's looking for oh that can't be true yeah do you have proof for you are I don't want to say what proof I have, yes. but yeah, I do have okay. proof. All right, cool. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Because um, I, I don't want to be labeled as someone who's cloud chasing. No, of course I have, not. I literally have nothing to gain from exactly. Jay. I didn't even gain much from Jay in the beginning. I don't yeah. have anything to gain from him. Nice. I don't have anything to gain from anything. It's not like I'm boosting my career because mm. I've like cut out DJing completely. I want to mm. do other things, you know, in life because I've changed my life. I've literally given my life to God. Love it. And I will, I don't even care if someone tells me, you're going to die if you don't go to the Sankoma. Listen, I'll that's what like, they always I'll say. I'll I, die. You know, you okay. know, that's what they always say. I've had people come up to me randomly at gigs and they're like, you're going to die in two weeks. There's a neighbor. There's a, and I'm just like, wow, then my God must be high. <laughs> <laughs> for you to come to me on a show and tell me this and I think there are people who are capitalizing off of um people's desperation, lack of jobs, um you know, lack of finding the right partner, wanting a baby, just you know, people who are feeling very purposelessness. Mm-hmm. Purpose- yeah, you yeah. get me. Um and and there are people taking advantage of it in the church and you know, it's godly as well mm-hmm. as as in yanga and sangomas and that's mm-hmm. a conversation people really need to have whether you believe it or not whether it's a scam or it's an actual real thing mm-hmm. each to their own but the fact is um this conversation is alive and well in many spaces whether you're in yeah. the accounting world and you walk into the office and it smells like impepo <laughs> or <laughs> you're an artist <laughs> and the stage is shaking and you don't understand why and you're the only one seeing it yeah uh the fact is it's definitely there and um you know words of advice to any you know girl um who might be suspecting that they're going through the same thing i mean i've heard lots of stories and sent and then mm. you know and you know you you rub it off all the time it's, right so you rub it off all the time when you're just like ah like what you're saying and the sad thing is what i can agree with what jay said in your interview girls are lost Mm. Some girls out there even know that I saw a snake in that house. But you know Excuse the money me. is too good. Excuse me. Everything is about money all the time. We all we all like nice things. We all like money. Sure. But is it worth selling your soul? That's what I want girls to really uh, uh, Let's go back. <laughs> Do you know somebody who saw a snake in the house? I've heard of plenty. Ah, the snake, snake, snake. Yeah. Like they were even told to sleep with the snake. Ah. The guy was like a friend of mine is can a friend of mine join us but these these girls were like okay sure they you can join us and the snake came along i win yeah and 
what the the good thing that at least in some way Jay shed in light to what truly goes on because he's even said that even the kidnappings, mm. you know, those those are babies being used for rituals. Even the when like women get taken or get killed, you might think that was nothing or it was just GBV, but that was a ritual. I'm I'm not I don't want to be that person that no, everything is just ritual. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like in certain circumstances it is just mm. that GBV or something. Mm. But people don't realize that in other mm. many circumstances it's rituals. People are are using rituals for anything. Mm. You know? And I've like when I put my mind to something I really like go mm. all in, you know. I've researched a lot about this and to try and understand it better and it just it even makes you scared and sad mm, in this mm. world that people are lost women are literally like oh that guy's gonna give me twenty thousand rand if i sleep with him but think to yourself why does this man want to pay you twenty thousand rand to sleep with you mm. how can this man afford to give you fifty thousand rand to sleep with you you know what is he gaining in return because trust me you getting that fifty thousand you like yeah, a bag for me, but he's gained so much more from that. Maybe he's mm. even made millions from that snake mermaid that he's praying to off you. Mm. And now you depressed in life. You said your life is going crazy. Was fifty thousand worth it? Is is a hundred thousand worth it? Is a million worth it to know that I'm selling my soul? And at the end of the li our lives, we all know we're gonna die. That's the only thing that is sure in life. Is it worth it to know, like, when I die, I've literally unwillingly sold my soul, you know? And it's just like... You know what I'd like you to do? Um, <clears throat> as difficult as this is going to get, because I know a lot of people are going to see this, I'd love for you to set up some kind of how young women can reach you who've been in this situation, because <clears throat> it's not it's not something you're going to claim, you know? Yeah. It's embarrassing. You were caught flat footed. Like, it's like being scammed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um <clears throat> and I believe that in this point in time you're probably a pioneer. You're a pioneer. And um I think you might just become a, a very busy hotline. For it, young girls. To help people. Yeah. That's even when I spoke to you and you were like, What do you wanna gain from this? I was like, I wanna help people. I was cocky, eh? <laughs> I thought you were a cloud chaser. I was like, Why would anybody like, you know? And I realized how brave you are. To be honest, I've even been embarrassed. It's something that I can't even speak of. People are like, oh yeah, how's your life going? And in the back of my head, it's like, I've, I've been used for <laughs> rituals. I've been to my Hi, my name is Nicola you know, and I've like... been used for rituals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so many things that you hold on to. And yeah. it's like, I was ashamed of doing things myself. That's why I'm like, I'm talking also from mm. experience. It's not like I'm talking nothing i'm talking because i also did those things and learned about those things mm. to do them thinking that i'm getting help but yeah. if anyone out there is you know feeling like that the first thing people are gonna say is like go to this auntie or traditional mm. healer yeah go mm -hmm. there go mm -hmm. there but it's actually taking you deeper and deeper because just like fake pastors mm. this this fake traditional healers not That's even true. trying to help you yeah and i always say um people really underestimate their own power yeah. You know, I, I don't, I really do not believe you have to go through a hundred people to feel God and see God and speak mm -hmm. to God. And I think um, we've all had experiences that have um, allowed us to understand that. I mean, I, I was saying to my producer, I feel like I've just had a few weeks ago had my own spiritual awakening mm -hmm. of knowing God. And wow, it's such a beautiful space to be in. It is. Um, for you, where to from here? To be honest, like I'm not even at a space and point in my life where things are going so good and so well. Like mm. I'm still trying to figure it out. Also, COVID messed up mm. a lot of things. Mm. Like I'm still trying to figure life out. But whatever I do do now going forward, I just want to put God first. I just want to, like the glory doesn't even come to me. I feel like even maybe I went through what I went through to get to a point where I can enlighten people. I can help people. And if that's what my purpose is on this planet, is to do God's work, 
and get God's name a- across as much as I can, that's what I want to do. Mm. I really do. Like I've always been a person who wants to help, who wants to heal. Yeah. And if Jay is watching this, I mean, he probably is. Um, you know, what would you say to him? Well, like, I'm not attacking him or trying to attack him mm. or anything like that, you know. Um, I feel like before, if I had done an interview or if I had spoken about this before, mm. I would have been so emotional. I would have been, like... Mm crying and angry and just wanting to <laughs> day, know, day. Yeah. but I'm not I'm not actually doing this for that I'm doing it from a place of healing I'm still healing I'm still trying to heal I'm still I'm, I'm more positive about it because mm-hmm. I believe that I went through it for some reason mm-hmm. if it maybe it is to help other people mm-hmm. and spread awareness and enlighten people open people's eyes and do God's work I agree because I really appreciate that lady and um, yeah I I believe everybody has something to take home or bow down to give your life surrender yourself to the Lord there are a lot of people that have been used in life Many of us, we have been redeemed. Like me, I'm living on a borrowed life. I've lost mine. Many people are walking around on the streets empty. Please remember them in your prayers. Because you remember that vision I had that I saw T.B. Joshua trying to suffocate me. He wanted to strangulate me. And I saw a, a man on the cross. And I saw three elderly men. They are here long and white. They were pouring something into a bowl like incense and the scripture tells me that incense is prayers in the in the book of revelation that the the meaning of incense is prayers just like what david said let the uh, incense our incense go before you Let our prayers ascend to your presence. Possibly there are some people that were praying for me. So those prayers ascended. And when the blood came down from the side of the one that was hung on the cross, the head of TB Joshua was taken away from his neck. And that was where my freedom started from. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Till we see again, stay safe in the Lord. Blessings.